4 p.m. Town Council having a public hearing for West Warwick Civic Center. Budget for uh, fiscal year 20. Uh, I'll take roll call, I guess. Councilman Lachari? Here. Councilwoman Williamson? Here. Councilman D'Amico? Here. Councilman Messia? Here. And Councilman Gosling is here. Uh, there is a quorum on record. Public hearing on proposed budget, fiscal year 20, West Warwick Civic Center Enterprise Fund Budget. Laurie? Does everyone have a copy? Need a I'll copy? Take another one okay. if you have it. You didn't make any changes. Nope. I'm good, thanks. No changes have been made since the last time that we were here. There's a plan in place with anticipated revenue. As long as we don't deviate from the plan, we should be good. Any questions for Lori? The last time we were here, actually, uh, Jim Jeremy had talked about generated. Do we, did we look into that at all? We are looking into it with Joe Argenti. He okay. came out, he was measuring the watts, and he was talking to um, National Grid and, and Limbo, and okay. he was also talking to Kenny. So. Okay. So one, one question for you, that's it. Okay. Um, the, the current total expenses, uh, hang on, let's say this wrong. The projected expenses for FY 2020 yep. are up from the current expenses we have now, correct? Correct. So we're in, we're in the hole now. We're increasing the expenses. We're increasing, increasing the revenue to meet the expenses because it has to match. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna meet those expenses for this upcoming year? We can't meet them right now. Well, because the ice rink was not scheduled to its full potential. Okay. Right now, the anticipation with contracts signed in place already, summer ice sold for next year, too. We're good to go. With the anticipation of that. Who's, schedule, who's scheduling the ice rink now? Um, it was a position that was not mine that scheduled it. But who's scheduling now? Still the position? No, I did it. Okay. So, so, so you're projecting the ice rink uh, rental income for this year to be 375, and you're projecting it'll be up to uh, 454, 980 next year. We did not have the summer. Yep. Ice no, rented. that's okay. Yeah. I, but okay. that's yeah. that's the yeah. Yes, I mean, it was yeah. down from how how long last year was it? Three months or more than that? More than, more than that. It's almost seven. Yeah. Seven. Is it that many months? And March I mean, to September. The schedule had blank spots, so okay. there would be a worker there where there would be an hour that was open, but <clears> he couldn't go home because there was people right. coming in after, so now it is straight through. So, and I'll be blunt with this, there was a union employee doing the scheduling based upon the schedule he wanted the ice shrinks to be scheduled. So, <laughs> if they didn't want work that hour, they didn't have to do work because I left it open. Now it's booked properly. I, I, it's ambitious. There's no doubt about that. But um, I mean, I have a plan, and as long as the plan is not deviated from, then we're good. When you say I, deviated, as, what do you mean? Well, as I long as I don't mean, have any big obstacles put in my way, and to be honest, the full-time positions need to match up with. Saturdays and Sundays. Those full-time positions have to be on Saturdays and Sundays, and that will save it. I don't need someone there at 7 in the morning to not. It needs to be when there's people there. I know. And that's so so your, your plan actually assumes that those people work those hours, thereby reducing over No, I have it so that it is set still. Okay. the way that it is right now but do, do we have a plan I'm in place i know we, we spoke about the generator a little bit as a backup generator because if it goes down no, that's that could, what we just talked about yeah okay, okay. okay. yeah right now uh, joe was uh, trying to determine the uh, 
was it kilowatt usage or the uh, capacity. And once he does that, then we'll reach out and see if if there are good used generators you know, that can match that capacity. Uh, so that's where we are right now. Yeah, we're just looking basically to keep the compressors up so the ice doesn't go. You know, once the ice goes, it's what ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Plus cleanup. Plus whatever. time. Plus whatever. Time. Yeah. yeah. Plus. Just, just to get the ice back into shape, right. painted, whatever. Plus the time you lose. I mean, as long as we have a generator up on the compressors, right. and that's, uh, that's I'm not looking to keep the place open if the if we have no power. I'm just right. looking to keep it alive. And uh, uh, Jim Jeremiah, who's you know the sewer uh, commission's uh, engineer, is also uh, has some. Uh, either contacts or knows of some places that uh, sell uh, generators. So hopefully, once we know the size we need, then we'll shop around and see uh, what the cost is and then what, how can we fund it. So. What, are we, what are we doing to better the hours for actually coverage up there? I know we have part-timers, but again, as Lori says, you don't need a full-time up there at 7 o'clock. Well, again, again well, right now it's the schedule that uh, we have, but I think is, I think one of the employees is coming in a little bit later. So. Yes. Yeah, one employee's uh, using some, uh, I believe, some time. Mm -hmm. They have accrued, uh, and then is coming in later uh, to meet the hours that we need. Mm -hmm. so there's a little bit of flexibility, but again, right now it's the way things are, the way they have been. And as long as the Civic Center, everyone understands that being an employee at the Civic Center, you're a team and it's kind of its own little entity and you have to be a team player there. And that's the way that this is going to work best for the community. And I mean, it's a great place for the community. And there's so many children that get to, you know, take advantage of it. There's so many new teams. I and mean, it's, it's really great. I mean, people are able to use the, the playground outside. You know, it, it just has to be a team and it, everyone has to work together for this. And Lori, so, I'm sorry. So what do you, like I know your role. Mm -hmm. And if you're, you're doing the scheduling, correct, of the field house and the field train. So a person coming in at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just so I understand this. We have, we have people in the ice rink that clean at night, correct? Mm -hmm. So say Monday night. Monday night's over. Tuesday morning comes. Mm -hmm. What is that role of the person in the ice rink on the first shift? Well, that's why we put in the public ice skating during the day and stick and puck, which is generating revenue. I mean, it's better than nothing. Right. So it is generating revenue. What time are those? Um, public ice skating just recently moved back to 10, but it started at 9. It was 9 to 12, and then from 12 to 4 during hockey season is stick and puck. But right now I have stick and puck going from, uh, I believe it starts at and goes to seven because I don't have renters because right. it's you know obviously we're off season right now right. but most of the ice rinks do close down at this time of the year so yeah. we are getting you know a good portion of people that are coming in and all the rinks do charge ten dollars like we're charging five so hopefully so they come in like at three o'clock yeah and they just come in they so skate what, around all right so what is what is the role of that person in the ice rink seven on, to three. On seven to three If you don't feel comfortable answering that, that that's fine. Because I, I just don't know what I don't know what a person would do. It, it would be only administration if nobody's in there or cleaning. But if it's clean the night before, then it's not. That's that's okay, the we'll schedule. We'll right now. No, I'm, I'm just trying happen. to. No, I'm not agreeing. It is. I'm just trying to find out what, what a person does. <clears> Forty <throat> hours a week, and if it's already clean, it doesn't and management does find some things. Always repairs that need to be done or something, yeah. I guess. The 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 issue yeah, I have up there. Optimal. There's no question. No, yeah. um, yeah, so so Jay, I'll give you an example of what I like to see changed up there. The for, clean, really <clears throat> so for instance yeah, So for instance sure. anybody who works in the Civic Center or Field House can't go outside and pick up trash around the building because that's Pox and Rex responsibility which to me, anybody who works there, and it's one facility, whether it's the, the, the playground's not getting picked up on a daily basis, and yes, they are finding nip bottles and everything else in our brand new playground. Yeah. Um, Those kids. And, <laughs> you know, 
the, the side of the ice, uh, not the the side of the field of Dr. Bob's Hill. Yeah. Always full of trash because that's the way the wind blows. Well, I know. And, and they can't go out there and clean it. But in my opinion, that's something that needs to be done. And, and you know, if they are there and they're doing nothing, send them outside. So but I, that's not the way the rules work around here. It's not right. optimal. So I'm, I'm not saying union versus non-union, but all right, if we're, if we're looking at that, who who's in charge? Who's the person to go to for for these issues? Is it the DPW director? Should be DPW yes. assistant director. Assistant. All right, so DPW assistant, assistant director. director. All right, oh. so I just I, don't know, I just have a different mindset, I guess. That there should be a list of things to be done, like we were just you were just talking. We about. do we do have a checklist of things right. that need to be done daily. And. We have 40 hour position, are they doing them? And if they're not doing them, somebody needs to make them do them. And if that's the assistant director, then he needs to make them do them. Grievance or not, the work has to be done, correct? You have somebody working there 40 hours, for what? Mm -hmm. well, again, you know, they, you know, they have their work schedules, they have their daily functions uh, that need to be done. Expect that but what are the they daily, are doing that. That's what I'm asking. Like, what are the daily know. functions? It's quite the dance. Like, it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of work to be done. Well, that's not true. <clears throat> no, I can get, I can get 40 hours. Should I just ask? You should be at the ice, with the glass on around the ice, inside and out. You should be cleaned every day. And when, I worked, when I worked up there 30 years ago, that took a while to do with two people. Yeah. Hmm. If it's not being cleaned right now, all right, then you get locker rooms. Then you got to wash down whatever the mats are. You got to vacuum. You got to sweep all that stuff up. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, I mean, the maintenance. And, and you have the eighty it. hours between the two full timers. I tell you what, <laughs> I know I know who I'm going to farm it out to. <laughs> I'll be at the twenty five percent. No, I mean it's it's basically cleaning. Right. Yeah, it is a lot of cleaning. Sometimes, it's a lot sometimes, of sometimes, you know, sometimes painting. painting. Sometimes yeah. whatever. Sometimes it's painting. Is it mm -hmm. being done though? That's the question. Well, Clean if directed, the if directed is being done. Let's just put it that way. If directed, it is being done. Now the question is, who's doing the directing and who's not doing the directing is another whole question. And you know, and again, that's something that the town manager Lori and Freddie need to get together and figure out how to run that place a little better and more efficient. All right. <clears throat> because again, I, I totally agree with you. If your busy time is between. Any time of the year is usually, field house is dead this time of year, everybody starts going outside. Um, unless it's raining, they need a place to go or whatever. But as far as like the ice rink, and again, it's a little slower in the summer. Yeah. And again, if somebody's coming in at seven and the ice rink's being rented from 12 to eight, those hours should be 12 to eight or 11, 11 to, yeah. to nine, That's whatever right. it may be, you know, get it ready. Not seven to three, and then bring in another full timer from one to nine. It's it just shouldn't work that way. We're wasting be, a lot of money. Should be a full timer during the day and a part timer to close the place up at night or something like that, or however they want to do it. But and you got seven days a week going there. Again, again we are at, at the present time looking at ways to do things a little bit differently and more efficiently. And I really can't go into more detail than that. I understand. Are we getting credits from the wind turbines, Kristen? For the electricity, yeah. that's why they are charged. Yeah, the electricity is being covered by the credits. On a good note, we are bringing in a lot of new people. Any other questions for Lori on this? Uh, I'll mention one thing, uh, Lori, uh, in the uh, field house rental. Do you have any any anticipated funds for the uh, second season for that AMC show? I did not count right. them. It's not set, but you know, uh, uh, understand. Our understanding is that they, even though they haven't had their first season yet, that uh, you know they may be back for a second season. If they are, then that would be unanticipated income that would assist us uh, going forward. So. Cross our fingers and hope it's a successful show. And you and you will get events that pop up out of nowhere, like wrestling or right. boxing or whatever it may be. It's just a matter of, you know, you're going by what you're getting right now and even it out. 
Any other questions for Lori? Any public comment? Hearing none. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. 11 minute recess. 11 minute recess. Mics are on. Thank you, Lori. Mics are on. Camera's on.